Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about Excel versus SharePoint. Actually, it's not a demonstration. What I'll do is walk through a few slides. So I'm going to talk about the benefits of moving lists of information to SharePoint from Excel. Most people, most organizations store a lot of list information in Excel. I think that's generally a rather bad idea because there are a lot of problems with Excel lists. So I'm going to make the case for moving that information into SharePoint. In another demonstration, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that and how to set up all of those benefits that I list in the next slide, which is coming here. Well, the main problem with Excel, it's a file. That means there's only one source of information, really, and there's one uh, file that can get locked. If you're on a file server, then you have all those problems with the file server, per se, and you also have the file locks. So if one user is in editing an Excel file, all the others are locked out, usually. And you also have the file versions, and that's a rather major issue, that you can't really see what value was in a cell before your edit and before then you have to go back to an earlier version of the file. So those are the main problems with storing information in Excel. The main benefits of moving the data into SharePoint is alerts. So alerts is an email that you can set up very easily with a couple of clicks so that you get an email as soon as something changes in your SharePoint list. That is extremely hard to do in Excel. You can do it both on the entire list and you can also get it on a view of the list. So when something changes in a particular view, you get an email about that. You can set the frequency, all those kind of things. And also, if you're a SharePoint site collection admin, you can set up alerts for others, that others should get alerts on lists or items. Then the, the whole change of moving to SharePoint is that you get a list and that means that you can change every object, every item, every row of that list independently of the others. So you can do independent row level edits, you can do locks. Uh, so if you can do a checkout on a list, then you can only lock that row that you're working with. Most cases, you don't want to lock the entire file, all the rows. Examples of lists that you can talk about in this context is of course, customer lists, IP lists, server lists, product lists, ingredient lists, all kinds of things. And most people don't work with the entire customer list at one time. They work with one particular customer updating their information. So edits and locks are very important. Another thing is permissions. Of course, you can set row level permissions on SharePoint. That's not really something I recommend. I would recommend doing multiple lists instead, but it's possible to do. And in Excel, that is very tricky, of course. And of course, you also get the version history on a row level. So you can see exactly how did this row change over time. A very, very powerful thing. Finally, I do need to warn you about the possible drawbacks of moving to SharePoint. The portability is slightly less. Of course, one file has the benefit of being very portable. You can send it as an attachment. All those things might also actually be a problem with um, an Excel list that you can't send the entire thing. Of course, there might be some retraining involved. Any change requires retraining of the user, so if you have a lot of people that are used to working in Excel, they might need some retraining on SharePoint because it does look slightly different. Moving costs, of course, it does take time to move your information over to SharePoint. I'm going to show you in the next demo that that can be done in a matter of minutes, but if you have a lot of Excel lists and a lot of retraining to be done, then that might be something worth considering. Also, uh, something that is definitely worth considering is the 5,000 items limit. You will run into problems if you have more than 5,000 items in a SharePoint list on SharePoint 2013. That limitation is said to be going away in SharePoint 2016, but at the present moment when I'm recording this video, this is a real issue. So if you have more than 5,000 items in your list, I would recommend moving to several SharePoint lists instead splitting it up somehow or of course keeping it in um, Excel works too and just moving that list into a SharePoint document library that works also but uh, 5,000 items is a limitation that you need to take into account if you're uh, um, using an on-premise installation of SharePoint then you can push that limit up on SharePoint online in Office 365 there's no option for you to do that so that's something a rather considerable limitation. But still, I do recommend moving into SharePoint. It's a better information strategy. 
it's a better solution and it will give you better results and it's a better collaborative environment which is the whole point of SharePoint as compared to Excel which was originally built for single user. So that concludes my talk through about um, Excel versus SharePoint. In my next demo I'll show you how to actually do this, move the information and um, set up some views and set up alerts and role level uh, permissions if you need that. Thank you for watching this demonstration.